Today we're going to do something a little different. This isn't the usual kind of stuff I do, but this is worth looking at. I've had the opportunity to use the Dehancer Pro plugin for DaVinci Resolve, and it actually is really nice. Really nice. I've, I've got a personal affinity towards the um, the bloom that you get from Cinefilm that you can't get in digital. So the Dehancer plugin the, is is the best way of doing it. So here here we go. We're gonna find the plugin, drag it to a node in the uh, color correction pages in DaVinci and check that we're on Rec 709 as the source which we are and then the profile gives you loads of different options loads of different types of, of film look um, personally I prefer the 8mm film look because it's it's the old school homemade movie kind of look that I like and, and gives you that, that nice colour. It almost flattens the colours and flattens the focus at the same time and makes everything a kind of almost a pastel y sort of look. And all, pastel, maybe pastel is not the right word. But anywho, so let's have a little fiddle with the settings here. So you can add noise as well to give it that kind of. Um, proper cine film look uh, you can add damage to the film which will also put little flickers in the background um, and th there's a, a variety of, of profile I'm not an expert in this kind of thing but what I do like to do here is turn turn the node on and back off again to see the difference so there's some beautiful film profiles look check this out look at that we are back in 1968 <laughs> and it's it's just gorgeous I mean you can watch the, the color graphs at the bottom of the screen as well change when you when you switch the uh, plug-in on it is just just such a beautiful look and it evokes um, memory of a certain time you could almost time your look by the type of film that you've used um, and this is what Dehancer do really well. So thank you to, De to Dehancer for providing me with this so I can actually show you guys what it does. Um, there'll be a link in my profile to give you a, a discount on purchasing it from Dehancer as well. Um, definitely, definitely worth a look. Now here's the really good thing, really cool thing about this Dehancer Pro plugin. Okay, there it is without. There it is, enabled. This is the Fujifilm 3513. Okay, none of the other stuff down here is enabled. I've disabled all of them. You could put film grain on if you want to, but I'm not on this time. Halation's off, bloom is not enabled film damage is not enabled right so if you wanted to set up your look and you've got a particularly good look here's the cool thing LUT generator you can make your own LUT with all the settings from this how you've got this right and then export the LUT and then use that the next time to do exactly what you set up here this is possibly the most awesome thing that this software's got going for it. This is such a beautiful look. It just looks so 60s, 70s. It's, it just taps into something fantastic.
Thanks as ever for listening and watching along. Please do consider getting the Dehancer plugin, and there is a link in uh, the bio underneath this that gives you a healthy discount. So thanks again.